session for me and mine. And both of us are way too busy to figure out what to do with you in the car. You know, it's really hard for us. And, um, and uh, you know, so we love each other and we support each other, but it would be hard right now for us to really concentrate on doing something like that. Um, but I will send your regards. A lot of people ask how is it doing. I'll tell you guys. He's very happy the Yankees are up two games. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. no, yeah, no. Well, you got to remember, when you're a New Yorker, when you're born in New York, you, you, it, something happens with your DNA where, you know, you're a Yankee fan. you got to be a Yankee fan. I'm kind of torn about it somehow. But I'm more a Dodger fan than I am Woo! an Yankee fan. Right? Although both of them are right, so I don't know what to tell you. you know, but it's going to be an interesting series, and I'm, uh, well, oh well, I'll miss the start of the Dodger game. You're fine, but I know. Uh, nobody leave. We'll have it somewhere, I promise. Okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jam to the school of rock there, and you don't want to miss that. I can promise you some space that I'm going to wind up making and it's priceless and I promise you. Alright, so let's just do one more question and we'll carry on to the next thing. Are you already here? Yes. Yes. Uh, okay, the Star Spangled Banner on the last three hours. So by the way, with Grand Funk, I do it also. I do it all by myself. But, you know, I do my Hendrix Woodstock Star Spangled Banner. But what, is there a question? Or you just... Well, how do we come about? It's a, it's a good question, actually. Uh, when I saw what the stage was going to be when we were going to use the Statue of Liberty, and then of course having to turn it into a Terminator face, you know, mm -hmm. thing, if it worked, you know, and it fell, fell down and everything, I, I kind of said to Paul, I was always a fan of that Hendrix thing, why don't we try to do something with the Star Spangled Banner? That would be really cool. And then we started rehearsing it, and there it was. And then we figured, well, tend to show it that and just blow up the stage, and there's the. Uh, you know, there's the Statue of Liberty kind of turning into Terminator head, giving you the uh, middle finger, you know, the ego. Rock and roll to me, right? You know, when it worked right. Which it did. I thought that was a great stage set up, actually. You know, it really did. If you think about it, Hot the Shade and Revenge really had some really cool staging. You know, everyone will just think to them now. But the, the truth is, even in my era, the stage shows were quite, quite effective. So. All right, then, who's got the schedule? What's next on the schedule? Does anybody know? There's going to be some giveaways. Am I giving away something? No. Where's Jim? Jim, what's next? Costume contest. That I gotta see. So, um, well, look, uh, I think I said enough, and I'm dying up here. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for coming.